All right, I'm back in the shop. I'm excited for this week's project and we have Ben to help us again this week. Hi guys. We are going to be making a lamp and I've been wanting to make this since we got the CNC machine. It's a Luxo inspired lamp. Uh, you might remember it from like the Pixar movies. Uh, that was actually a vintage lamp company in the 70s that that was inspired by. Uh, but so we're gonna call this the Like Luxo Lamp. Uh, you film that? Yep. Not a success. It just cut right through the middle. Jeez. Why would it do that? Ben is reflashing the Arduino, and I'm very happy he's here because I have no experience with Arduino, and he's just going right at it. It's already done, so hopefully that fixes the problem. All right, I've had a couple of successful test cuts. Now it is time to actually build this lamp. I got this lampshade from our local uh, salvage supply here and it's a little bit big for this, you can see. So first I need to polish this up and then I need to scale this design and sketch up about 25% bigger, recut it in the mahogany so that it kind of fits together a little better. Well, that's it for me. I give up on the CNC, it just went crazy again, all on its own. It was cutting great. And this is probably, if you had to guess, how many times have we done this? I mean, we've been doing this for three days. Three days solid. Went back just to do one final cut in MDF, just to make sure all the sizing was right, something that, you know, wasn't the wood was too hard or something. Got all through this, did great, came here, and just went haywire. So, it is officially now costing way too much time and effort and grief. It's going back. Alright, here's plan B. We printed out our design. I'm just going to glue it to the mahogany and cut it on the bandsaw. I'm at the end of my rope here. So we made our hand cut version and it's working, except no, it's not. It just broke. Plan C. All right, so I got my third wind and decided to cut them out one more time by hand, this time with just quarter inch plywood, and they turned out much better this time. All right, I'm calling it for the night. You got a hair? I'm talking to the camera, dude. I've got this all put together, and it's actually looking pretty good. I just took the time on the scroll saw, and wouldn't you know it, it all worked. So this is the socket that I found that I'm hoping I can fit something like this. I gotta figure out how I'm going to insulate the wires and also clamp down on them because this is used to clamp it, but we'll get to that later. I would call that a success. So here's the plan. I need to get a hole in the back of this lamp head to accommodate the screw that comes out of the back of the socket. Then I need to attach it to the lamp. So I'm thinking I'll drill a hole in the end of this brass rod, tap it, and then screw through, 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 attach to lamp, done. Sorry, I did not film a lot of that because I was not expecting it to work, but it was right on. All right, so here is the progress so far. And my plan was to add springs to make this a true balanced arm lamp, but it is working so well with friction right now I don't think I want to really mess with that. Uh, it might be because of the humidity that the joints are swelling, but it feels really solid. Well, someone used up the last of my spray lacquer without telling me, so I gotta go run to the store. So I got these little puck lights that have this white diffusion material that almost perfectly fit around the outside. So I'm hoping I can pop one of these out and somehow use it inside this ridge. Ideally, it would just pop in. Let's see what it does. Ooh, that's... Pretty darn close. That looks so much better. And if I can just uh, do some kind of ring that holds it in and covers up those little taps, maybe those could be, I could put clamps here or something. Looking good. I think we're ready for final assembly. So far so good. Oh, if I break it right now, I'll be so mad. There we go. Look at that. I did it. <laughs> I 
This area though, still very ugly. So let's put that diffuser on there and I think I'm just going to super glue it on. I know, I know, I know for now, my idea for the clips are similar to something we have in our kitchen and I don't want to make those today. Much better. Oh, that looks so much better. Wow, look at that. <laughs> well, I am just amazed at how good this one came out. It is perfect. I wouldn't change anything. Well, I would change one thing. I need to get an LED bulb because this little white diffuser gets pretty hot with that incandescent in there. Uh, but I couldn't find an LED bulb small enough to fit inside the lampshade. So I'll get that online. I'm happy. I couldn't be happier. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Ah, no. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me?